Coming up on Look Today, Todd Garifano, President of Saratoga Convention and Tourism Bureau, has announced he is leaving. I've got details. And the town of Queensbury completes energy projects and they receive a grant. More on that coming up. Plus, this week is Invasive Species Awareness Week. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is Look Today. Well, on tonight's program, I sit down with Kim Cook. She's president and CEO of the Open Door Mission in Glens Falls. And she's here to talk about the upcoming donor dinner that's happening next week. Plus, in our weekly look at seniors, I sit down with Lois Celeste, who's executive director of the Saratoga Senior Center, and we're joined by Dr. Monica Casey G. She's from the Northeastern Association of the Blind. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, friend of mine, Todd Garifano, president of the Saratoga Convention and Tourism Bureau, has announced he's leaving. Now, his last day is scheduled to be April 6. Now, during his eight-year tenure, occupancy rates in hotels grew almost 125%, resulting in a $67.5 million economic impact. Now, Todd said that he's leaving to pursue other interests outside the tourism industry. We met with him today, and here's what he had to say. So I've been here for eight years. We've, uh, we've built a great team. We've built a great uh, organization here, and uh, so proud of what uh, our staff has accomplished over the last few years. Um, you know, the timing is just right for me. So I have a new challenge in front of me that uh, I'm really excited about, um, that I feel like I'd, uh, I need to take this on. So, um, you know, it's like I said, it wasn't an easy, an easy decision, but um, I, I feel good about, you know, where our organization is, where the Convention and Tourism Bureau is uh, as a whole and where our staff is. So I feel good about uh, the timing. Sure, wherever Todd goes, he'll have impact. Good luck to you, Todd. In other news, here's an update on a story we told you about last week. Town of Queensbury has installed an electric car jar charging station at the town water department. Now, the installation allows the town to receive a $50,000 grant. The station is not open to the public. However, more businesses and locations are considering building charging stations. Now, we spoke to Chris Harrington. He's superintendent of the water department in Queensbury. And we spoke to him about the process of building this station. The charge point unit is going to be a two-part unit, and it allows us maybe to consider a, an electric hybrid in, in the future. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're excited about it. The vehicle should be here in about a month. It's a Nissan LEAF, and uh, I think it's going to fit our needs very well. Switching from news to weather. Spring is here, but not really. It's still February, but it was much more spring-like. Temperatures reached into the 50s. Well, let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thanks, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Bosser with your first look weather here on Look TV. Right now, high pressure control tonight with tranquil weather, but a cold front advancing into our area with an area of low pressure over southeast Canada. We'll see cold weather also, generally upper 20s to about 30 degrees across the capital district as well as regionally, with partly cloudy skies and a southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heading into Wednesday, partial sunshine, mild 52 degrees. So if you have any outdoor plans, enjoy them. Southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour, but you'll still need those heavy coats as you walk out the door. Mid to upper 30s with light southwest winds. Beyond that, we're going to continue to see maybe some shower chances and snowflakes mix mixing in. Overnight low to 33 Wednesday night. Mid 40s, slight chance of rain and snow Thursday. We'll cool down to 30 on Friday. 39 in the afternoon high, 40% chance of rain and snow. Cold front passes by. We stay in the lower 40s for highs and lows mid 20s with partial sunshine on Saturday as well as Sunday, but a little bit more cloud, cloud cover over your Saturday time frame. And that was your weather update here on First Look Weather on Look TV. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponsler. Now I send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks a lot, Clarence. I know we all love to see this weather. It's just a little too early. Back to the news. Well, this week is Invasive Species Awareness Week, and the Lake George Association has released some good news and bad news. Now, the good news, there are no new invasive species found in the lakes within the Adirondacks. 
Lake George still has six different invasive species. Now, some of the measures that were used to prevent the spread of invasive species in 2017 included mandatory boat inspections and cleaning, which worked. We spoke to Walt Lender. He's executive director of the LGA about this. So in the case of invasive species, we're no longer at the boat launches uh, working with the boaters coming in. We now have a, a, a mandatory boat inspection program that takes care of that. But what we'd like to do is reach out to other people who recreate on Lake George, uh, who use the lake for um, paddling uh, and other types of, of recreation. So we're going to go to some of the other points of access with our, with our summer interns, and they will do some outreach and, and interact with, with the boating public and, and the recreation public uh, to talk to them about the, the dangers of spreading invasive species from one water body to another. Now, I also mentioned bad news. Well, although Lake George is working to prevent the spread, the bad news is that a new invasive species, an insect that could threaten our forest, was found on Prospect Mountain. Well, the DEC is aware of it, currently treating the affected trees in the vicinity. And we'll have more on that in the coming days. Up next, I sit down with Kim Cook. She's president, CEO, Open Door Mission in Glens Falls, and she's here to talk about the upcoming donor dinner that's happening next week. I also sit down with Lois Celeste, Executive Director, Saratoga Senior Center. And we're joined by Dr. Monica Casey G. She's from the Northeastern Association for the Blind. Now, but first, if you see news happening, you wanna share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline, the number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for uh, this edition of look today, I just asked Andrew in the control room. I said, uh, I asked him a question. He told me to stop paying attention. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> hey, a couple of lookouts for tonight. Uh, brand new Queensbury Town Board meeting. We were there. You can see it unedited and it's in entirety on uh, Look TV and, of course, on Look TV Online.com. Uh, also, quick congratulations to Town of Queensbury for uh, making that step into the future getting an electric car and putting in a charging station. I'm sure it's the first effort of many more to come. And uh, last but not least, a good friend stopped in today, Cheryl Hage Perez. And as you know, for many times that I've interviewed Cheryl here on Look Today, very involved with all issues relating to veterans. Well, we're going to do like we've done with a look at seniors, a look at finance, a look at technology. In the coming weeks, we're going to be doing a look at veterans. It'll be an eight-part uh, in-depth series on all of the issues that veterans in our country face, regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of age, regardless of what war they served in. So uh, be on the lookout for that. All right, as I said, tonight on Look TV, Queensbury Town Board Meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.